on WGN Evening News at 6. We begin with a neighborhood on edge after a massive crowd caused disturbances last night, prompting a heavy police presence and one arrest. And tonight, a previously scheduled safety meeting is being held in Old Town, and that's where we find WGN's Jenna Barnes. Jenna? Ray and Jackie, that crowd will certainly be a topic of conversation at tonight's meeting that gets underway in just about an hour. As you said, it was previously scheduled, but the vice president of the organization hosting the meeting says his own son was caught in the chaos last night. My son and a friend were driving home on North Avenue in LaSalle and they ran into it. So they told us about it when they got home. Of course, we were scared. People were just wandering around and sort of taking over the streets and blocking traffic is what they saw. Young people gathered at North Avenue Beach for a party that did not have a permit. It was advertised on social media. Video captured them climbing on lifeguard stands, were told police seized alcohol, and when officers directed people to leave, some climbed on top of CTA buses and dozens surrounded a car at a gas station at North and LaSalle. One person, an 18 year old man, was arrested and charged with misdemeanor reckless conduct. There was a lot of activity and a lot of blue lights fashion, flashing. There were no injuries, very few arrests, and people obeyed police orders and dispersed. So we think that this was a very successful way of handling an, an illegal event on the beach. 43rd World Ward Alderman Michelle Smith says she wants the city to pursue legal action against the people who planned that party. The Old Town Triangle Association is asking the city for better communication and a heads up if something like this happens again. We'll let you know what neighbors have to say coming up at 9. For now, we're live in Old Town. Jenna Barnes.